deficiency diseases the deficiency of essential nutrient in our body cause certain diseases known as deficiency diseases now first the deficiency of carbohydrate deficiency of carbohydrate causes a person to become very thin and weak deficiency of proteins deficiency of protein leads to kwashiorkor in many children and a child suffering from kwashiorkor has following symptoms stunned growth a large spot like belly swelling of face discoloration of hair skin diseases and many more deficiency of proteins carbohydrate and fats causes marsumus in children a child suffering from marsumus become very thin and show the following symptoms weak legs mental retardation and slow body growth now let us discuss deficiency of different vitamins first we discuss about vitamin a what is the main food sources of vitamin a yellow and orange colored fruits papaya mango vegetables green leafy vegetables fish liver oil these are the main food sources what is the importance of vitamin a vitamin a help to enhance vision provides resistance to infection and keeps hair and skin healthy now the disease due to deficiency of vitamin a is night blindness in night blindness the person not able to see clearly in dim light vitamin c lemon orange grapes are the common food sources for vitamin c the importance of vitamin c vitamin c helps in healing wounds builds resistance to common cold and maintain healthy gums and the deficiency disease is scurvy in scurvy the swelling and bleeding of gums as you can see in the picture now vitamin d students vitamin d the main source is sunlight and food like milk and butter are also rich sources of vitamin d the function of vitamin d is keeps the bones and teeth healthy and strong and the deficiency disease is rickets that is soft bones vitamin e the main food sources are nuts like almond egg wheat grams vegetable oils and green leafy vegetables and the importance of vitamin e keeps the skin healthy the deficiency disease is skin and reproductive system is affected vitamin k the function of vitamin k it is required for normal blood clotting and the food sources for vitamin k is green leafy vegetables wheat cheese and many more the deficiency due to lack of vitamin k is hemorrhage different kind of hemorrhage now we discuss about vitamin b in vitamin b we discuss about b1 b2 and b12 so vitamin b1 the importance of vitamin b1 it helps in digestion and proper functioning of the heart and nerves and the deficiency disease due to lack of vitamin b1 is very very the food sources of vitamin b1 grains like rice whole wheat green leafy vegetables milk egg fish and many more vitamin b2 the importance of vitamin b2 it keeps skin healthy and the deficiency disease due to lack of vitamin b2 is skin disorder the food sources of vitamin b2 egg milk and green leafy vegetables now vitamin b12 the importance of b12 it forms red blood cell and the deficiency disease is anemia the main food sources for vitamin b12 is meat in this chart we learn about minerals calcium is required for strong bones and teeth phosphorus is required for development of bones and teeth iron forms hemoglobin which carry oxygen to all the cells of the body iron is essential for the proper working of the thyroid gland and magnesium is required for proper functioning of muscles and nerves so due to the lack of these minerals there are many diseases uh, comes like rickets bad teeth and weak bones anemia goiter muscle cramps so minerals are also important part of our food